Hi, I'm Joel Lightcatcher. Thanks for joining me here on the Light Tech channel. I got my brand new Typhoon H here from Unique Electronic Aviation. Um, it's been out of the box once for a quick test flight. We've had a terrible weather here lately. Uh, tropical storm uh, Colin kind of like just passed through and this is the first partially sunny non-rainy morning we've had in almost a week and it's going to thunderstorm this afternoon so I want to take this opportunity to give it a real first flight. Now I don't have everything in the box because again I just brought what I needed. I purchased this again from Massdrop. Now there's a little brouhaha going on with this drop from Massdrop because it was supposed to come with two batteries and the special backpack carrying case. So at 11.59, okay, I saved 50 bucks without those things, but I should have my additional $300 worth of product. There's a lot of commentary going on with the mass drop in the form, and all mass drop says is we're dis in discussions with our supplier to rectify that. Let's see where that goes. I still love mass drop, but sometimes they screw up pretty bad. Anyway, the other thing I wanted to show you is this. This is a flight log book. I got this from Amazon and I've already entered the information for today's flight. If you want to start flying commercial, start writing a flight log book now. The FAA will want to see that to show that you're serious. So let's go put that aside and get this out of the carrying case. Not. So we have the Typhoon here all curled up. You may notice I've already put my name on there and my FAA registration. I think that's very important. And we also have the transmitter with the screen, which works really well. It is a Android device, but they've kind of locked it down. You'll have to root it if you want to do special things with that. And it has a nice little stand here too, which makes it a little nice to, uh, work with. And we've got our battery. Now I've also got an auto robotics and I've played with um, with uh, Phantoms DJIs. This is, I don't think this is a really intelligent battery. There's no lights on board. It doesn't self monitor. I think a lot of that is in the charger. Whereas my, uh, where DJI and Autel puts all the smarts in the battery, I guess they lightened it by not doing it that way. And we have our sunscreen and our strap. Let's start by putting together the typhoon. Florida hurricanes, typhoons. We get hurricanes uh, and uh, the other side of the world gets typhoons. All right, so we're just going to pop up the arms here. That's the first thing we do. Pop them up and they just lock into place. And you do want to do this before you put the battery in. And I like to give a little push, make sure they're down good. Next thing you want to remember, and this is very important, take the guard off. This is very important. You don't want to lose the camera guard. And then we've got propellers. You will notice I have not yet put the battery in. Now these propellers, you may notice, we have black and white, and that indicates which way the rotors spin. So, also there's been uh, some brouhaha about uh, some people get more spare rotors, some get no spare rotors. And you'll notice on the propellers also, we've got different colors indicating which rotors they go on. So, I find it easier if I do all the blacks before the whites. And they're kind of like the phantoms, they just go on and clip. I'm going to do all the blacks first because... They spin in one certain direction to lock on. Okay, that's all the blacks and then the whites. And then the whites go down and they click in the other direction. So I find it easier on my mind if I do all one than all the other because then I know I'm spinning them all in the right direction. And again, I want to give it a nice little twist twist test, make sure nothing is going to fall off. And then we have uh, the spares that I'm going to put away. Next, I want to get my transmitter together. Here's a little tip. This is the screen. 
that folds out. By the way, it folds out only one way. If you fold it back the other way, it doesn't go in the box right. So it always has to go that one in before that one, and then it goes in the box. Anyway, fold it out, fold it out. Be careful of these pins, they can fall out. And on the transmitter, see if you could see this. There are two holes, one for the lanyard, and one for the sunscreen, a little one back there. So make sure you get the sunscreen in the lower holes. And I find it easier to do this before I put the lanyard on. And they clip in. Sometimes if you don't get it in just right, you're going to push the little uh, pins out and then you got to find them on the floor and uh, put them back in. And just Make sure they're in all the way. They kind of self-lock, but only if you push them in good. Uh-oh. Ha! See what I mean? This one didn't match, and the pin fell out. So, see? I'm not kidding. And also, sometimes when you push one out on one side, it comes out on the other. Little tricky. The lanyard, in this case doesn't have one clip it has four clips because the big display you know needs more support but they're very easy and it's got a little latch it's wearable now's the time to put the battery in so gently turn it around. Remember the gimbal's now free now. And there's a little door here. See? So pop the door up. I find that helps. And push in all the way till you hear the click and push that down. That's it secure. There were some videos by another gentleman who says people weren't putting them in all the way. It would take off, the battery slide out, and the whole thing would crash. So make sure it's really in there tight. All right, I hope you're gonna see this in this bright sunlight, but we're gonna do the best we can. I'm gonna take this up and hit the on button. And you want this powered up first. And you'll see at the top there it says nothing's connected. And because nothing is connected. So now I'm gonna to come to the unique and I'm going to come over here. And you have to press this button for three, for two to three seconds. One, two, so you hear that and it's going into its mode. I'm gonna turn it around because there's a lot of information coming off of the tail light. Right now it's purple. And if we look here, it says connecting camera, please wait. All right, what do we got here? Still connecting camera, please wait. There we go. It's time for the calibration dance. So this is how we calibrate it. On the remote, I know it's hard to see. We have a little button here that says GPS calibration. And then we hit compass. And now the lights start blinking. And we pick this up and we spin it till the lights go off. I think I'm supposed to do this before the props are done. And this one now. And this is the game. Oh, I think I just finished. I heard a blink. Okay. As you can see now, all the lights are on. And blinking blue means ready to go. So uh, let's go put this out on the pad. And we got our Typhoon H on the pad and ready to start our motors. So there's RC, oh shit, I don't have my antennas on here, fuck. I had made a big mistake when I packed this to get it back in the case, I had to take the antennas off 
and I had it um, on without the antennas. Huge no-no, you could burn things out. Um, put them on, everything looks okay, I got lucky. Don't make that mistake. Okay, looks like we've got uh, everything ready to go. All right, ready? Taking off. There we go. Oh, I should put the landing gear up. Landing gear up. And I'm gonna put obstacle avoidance system on. Here I am. Hi. I see a rain cloud up ahead. I'm a little concerned about that. Let's put this on a little faster mode. This tortoise seems a little bit too slow to me. Let's go sideways and turn and forward, oh, turn around and for, wait. Oh, it's in smart mode. I gotta put it in angle mode. There you go, I'm not used to smart mode. Speed is a little slow. Let's see if I can turn this. Is that faster? There we go, that's faster. That's fast mode. I'm gonna scroll it down to turtle mode now. And that's really slow. Okay, I'm going back to fast mode. And I'm gonna go up. That's pretty cool. It's not in advanced mode. Let's bring her down. I'm gonna put it into smart mode. And smart mode means headless mode. And I'm gonna come over here and let's see how it comes to me. I'm gonna bring it down. I'm gonna go over a little. Cool. And I'm gonna bring it closer. Whoop. And I'm going slowly. And it doesn't really want, okay, I'm going back to angle mode. And let's see how this obstacle avoidance works. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. And I'm walking up to it. Whoa! Back! Back! Naughty drone! <laughs> okay, come, come back to me! Back! 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 <laughs> Woo! Okay, let's try a 360 degree pan with that camera. And I'm just holding in place and I'm just panning all the way around. And if I go back and flick back up there, it automatically comes right back to me. That's very cool. I'm gonna put it back in headless mode. Turn it around. I'm gonna fly along the flags and see what see how that goes. I'm gonna angle the camera down a little bit. Oops, there we go. And let's go fly that course. Now I'm flying FPV now. It is not, it must be in some beginner mode. It's not, oh, it's the headless mode. Back to angle mode. I can't do headless mode. Okay, let's turn there. There we are. And I'm gonna fly this racing course.
And back it comes to me. Very cool. Very, very cool. And if I walk under you, does it see me? I'm gonna bring it down and see what the, audit, the obstacle avoidance does. When does that kick in? Woo, did you see that? That was very cool. Let's go to the camera. Let's go walk to the camera. I don't think I want to get too close to the camera. Let's try that landing gear up and down. Let's go a little closer. Landing gear down. Whoa. Landing gear up. Landing gear down. Whoa. Too close. Well, I'd say this is so far really good. Let's see if we can do a landing here. Let's see, a little forward, a little to the right, a little down, a little all the way down, and it knows to turn off. Well, I still have to turn off the motors. Very cool. Okay, we're going to start our motors now. Start our camera. Start our rotors. Contact. And up we go. And there it is, rotate right, rotate left. All right, and away we go. Can't see it. Well, let's just see if I can fly it into vision. Let's see if we can get into the camera. No? Well, okay, how about higher? There it is.
All right, there we are, flying around. Okay, well let's try the auto home feature. Let's see how a, if it'll land where it should. I'll put the camera back on the landing pad. Where's the landing pad? There we are. And let's see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna hit return to home. And it goes up. Oh, landing gear down. Remember to put landing gear down. Uh-oh, it's not quite where it should be. It should be on that pad. Well, that was okay. Let's try another one. We're going to try this again. I changed the settings to audio mode on and colored it gorgeous. And let's see what happens. Start our motors. There we go. And up we go. Down, over, see how closely I can get this on the pad. Gentle. And I'd say, that was a damn good landing. Woohoo! And we have 25% power, and I think we're done. And we're off. And the transmitter is off. Powering off. Well, pretty good first flight. Got in the feel of it. It's very docile. Very, very docile. Even even in fast mode. I gotta put it into advance and see how much faster I can get this go. Anyway, catch you later. This is this is Joel Lukatcher for the Light Tech Channel, and uh, thanks for flying with me. Come again soon. It helps to turn off the camera too.